Hey everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be doing an interview with a developer from the Trey Pang team crew. I asked maybe like two or three questions and the rest are all from subscribers or patrons. And yeah, if you would like to see more interviews like this, be sure to like up the video and comment so that these interviews can get more views. And with that all being said, let's get into the interview. I guess we're going to be starting with my first question here, which is, uh, who are you and what is your experience in development? I guess this is for like, like the whole team, right? Cause it's not just me uh, working on the game. So yeah, I guess, you know, our, our company name is Trey Pang Studios. So I do design programming and like a lot of boring stuff. Um, there's Copter who does animations and technical art. And then we have the two Brandons. Uh, one Brandon does voice acting and the other Brandon does music. All four of us, we come from Half-Life 2 modding background. We all know like a little bit of everything. Like everyone has technical expertise and like level design and level scripting uh, knowledge. We all kind of work on that stuff together. On top of like Half-Life 2 modding, like I've been a software engineer for a few years. Copter works on like a ton of the guns on Payday 2. Yeah, that's why our guns like look and feel pretty good. Uh, but this is our first game as a studio. Um, so yeah, we're working pretty hard on it and we're pretty happy with all the feedback we've got so far. Yeah, your demo is pretty killer, gotta be honest. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, it's crazy. Like, you know, in December we were, we were all working like 20 hours a day or whatever and like we couldn't even enjoy the damn thing like we we had no idea whether you know it'd be fun or not we we're just like okay whatever just just put it up like <laughs> this is the best we can make it and um oh man yeah like we were blown away with all the the feedback and all the nice stuff people said it's crazy <laughs> so why this game and what do you hope to accomplish um why this game i guess um so yeah, obviously, you know, we take some ideas from fear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, though, though, you know, you kind of hurt our feelings when you you titled your uh, YouTube video, you know, the carbon copy of fear. <laughs> I mean, to be, uh, to be honest, it's kind of what it uh, feels like. Like it, 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 kinda, it, yeah. it feels amazing. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Uh, but like, my only critical thing about it is just that i didn't really feel too much of the scary stuff but aside from yeah. that it was really fun yeah that, that's good to know like i'm glad you enjoyed it um i mean yeah we haven't started any of the scary stuff yet like that scary hallway like that was added like literally like the last like day or two like we're just like okay well we need to put a scary hallway in there somewhere so we just we threw something in um yeah but, yeah, yeah. yeah it was a bit it was a bit obvious though I gotta yeah be it was a bit tacked in yeah it was a bit tacked on like I mean, we're, we're starting on that right now, actually. Like, we're talking to some really cool people about that. But yeah, like, with, with the gunplay and, you know, shooting people and stuff, like, we really want to take it farther than, you know, what other games have done. Like, in Fear, you could slow down time. Just It just helps you aim, basically, right? Like, you know, in Trey Pang, I don't know if you noticed, but there's actual bullets, like, simulated uh, physically, like, coming at you. Yeah. Um, so, you can, yeah, you can dodge the bullets. You can shoot them out of the air. We we give you way more options. Like, you can slide around. You know, you can grab a guy, use him as a, a meat shield. Yeah. You, yeah, you can go invisible. Like, you can hide in the dark. Um, yeah. One thing, can you make it so that the uh, invisibility actually lasts a little longer? Because it feels like it only lasted for, like, a second in the demo. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like a lot of people weren't such big fans of the um, the cloak. Like for us, we thought it, it's pretty useful and like um, pretty powerful, but like almost overpowered. But it seems like, yeah, a lot of people didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, so. Uh, it just doesn't feel like it nailed it down just yeah. right. Because anytime that I tried to use it, it just felt like it went out for like two seconds. Yeah, I think overall, like the stealth stuff wasn't quite as good as um, it should be. Mm. You know, we'll definitely be, you know, just adding more options for the stealth stuff. So it's more of like an option rather than just like okay here's how i i just don't get shot at i guess um yeah because I, yeah. I could definitely <laughs> see like the lanes of where you'd want somebody who's sneaking to go oh, yeah. through because i, I right. could definitely see that but it, it's just they still detect me anyway so it's like oh yeah yeah it's i mean it's not super intuitive but it's like if you stay in the shadows and like you crouch walk they basically can't really notice you we could definitely have made a better tutorial on that like without going into the questions later too much um we will have some kind of unlock system where you can upgrade your abilities and 
weapons and stuff. So maybe in the beginning of the game, the player won't be super powerful. Like, they'll be pretty badass. But at the end of the game, they're going to be, like, you know, an insanely badass dude. They'll be, like, unstoppable. So, you know, like, melee and, like, slide and, like, cloak. Everything's going to be a lot more powerful, like, at the end of the game versus, like, the beginning of the game. All right, cool. cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is questions that are all coming from my subscribers. All right, cool. The first one is, are there going to be licensed guns, as in real guns that are going to be in real life, or are you going to make your own type of guns? Uh, <laughs> so you mean licensed guns as in, like, you know, like, for example, Colt, and then yeah. there'll be, like, the Colt, like printed on the side of the gun uh -huh. uh, so yeah we we heard from one gun company uh, one representative from a gun company we've thought about it i mean we haven't agreed to anything but we probably won't go that route i think like we just want to have you know as much creativity as we can um over the guns um i mean all, all our guns are based off of real guns like as you can tell you know those are all real guns but you know we we make them to be as fun as they should be like the guns work more like how they do in a hollywood movie than they would in real life yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's that big a deal. It's just that you know there are a lot of gun nuts on my type on my side of the, oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. The thing is, if we license guns, right, then we can't make them look bad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for for example, like imagine if Counter Strike licensed licensed Glock, and then they they made the Glock really bad, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you know. Um, or, you know, what if we, we license, you know, I don't know, an AK or something, and then we make it shoot lasers? Like, they're obviously not going <laughs> to like that, right? So, um, yeah, obviously, we, we want to make, you know, the coolest, most badass guns. So um, we probably won't be uh, making any deals with, with real gun companies. Okay, no big issue. At least for me, anyway. I don't know about anybody else, but... Yeah, I hope they're okay with that. I mean, it's a game, after all. It's not real life. All right, so... Will this game have multiplayer at all? Um, so... Yeah, basically, no. Like, we are, like, 100% focused on making, like, the most, like, epic and badass, like, single-player experience. Like, as an indie, we just don't have the resources to make a multiplayer game. Or at least to make a good multiplayer game. That being said, like, we do want to you know, have some level of customization and some way for people to share that with their friends. So at, at least in some way, it won't be just totally like, for example, you know, if you played the uh, horde mode, we might be adding some kind of customization to that. So you can make your own like ridiculous horde waves and then share that on Steam Workshop or something. Like, for example, like 30 waves of like all, you know, juggernaut characters or something like that. Oh, jeez. Uh, Oh, <laughs> so that I had a hard time with one. Yeah. <laughs> so that, I mean, that's something we'll probably do, uh, and it'll probably be fun. But yeah, not too many details on that yet. Okay. So you say customization. How in depth will that be? Um. Yeah. It's it's hard to say at that point. Like, we'll definitely let you customize your guns. Like, uh, right now we're working on like a weapon in-game weapon customization system, like Crisis. So you can just you know stick on a suppressor or a scope uh, on your gun, and then when you don't feel like you want it, you can just take it right off. We might have weapon skins and stuff like that, customizing horde mode and possibly some extras like that. Uh. Yeah. We definitely you know we want to customize like a lot more than that, but we're not finished with you know the research and everything to make sure that it's. 100% possible like yeah I just don't want to overpromise at this point basically okay okay yeah I mean it, it would definitely be fun to have you know tons of stuff you can share with your friends this next one says is ADS going to be a thing at all uh, yeah this is a, a question we get asked pretty often um, so actually in 2017 in our first demo we did have ADS uh, all the guns had iron sights but we found you know it was really hurting the game because I guess with Call of Duty and like you know all the tactical games now the first thing people do when they see an enemy is they're going to aim down their sights. Unfortunately, that, that takes away um, like all the other options because once you aim down sights, you're not moving, right? And then you're not going to melee, you're not going to throw a grenade, um, you're not going to slide. You know, you're basically just focusing on, on headshotting that guy. Um, and it basically just became like a sniping battle with, um, with NPCs, right? And it just doesn't feel good when you win a sniping battle versus a CPU, right? It's, it's definitely not the same as like a multiplayer game. The other bad thing was um, if you used ADS during... Um, slow motion because the gun takes up so much of your screen you can't see the bullets uh, coming towards you so you're suddenly getting hit by all these bullets and you're like oh, I can't see like how do I how do I dodge them so it was a really tough choice but we had to remove ADS 
yeah, once we removed it, everyone was just having way more fun um, in the 2018 demo. Um, but that being said, like, you know, we will have longer range battles. So we will have guns where you can attach a scope or something to aim with. Um, so it'll be kind of like CSGO where, yeah. say, like, some guns, yeah, some guns you can aim, but, like, you know, you can't, you know, just aim ADS on, a, on like, a pistol and, like, snipe a guy, you know, 100 meters away. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> like, uh, you're just, you're going to go the Counter-Strike route where you put the scope on and then you start you know, aiming in and out. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Um, yeah, we obviously don't want to block out the player's sight because um, they need to see all the bullets coming in. Like, it's it's pretty fast. You can die pretty fast. Um, and of course, you know, you can just take off the scope anytime you want. So, <laughs> And you might have to unlock some of these scopes too, so you won't just start with a whole bunch of scoped guns. Okay, neat. All right, so what about console? Um, yeah, that's hard to say at this point. Like right now, we're totally focused on PC, like possibly someday, like way later down the road, uh, when we're done with the PC release, if it does really well, uh, we might, you know, just bring it to other platforms. Uh, who knows? Here's hoping for those guys. <laughs> yeah, console peasants. <laughs> <laughs> How many weapons will be featured in the game at launch? Um, yeah, like, not sure. Like, definitely more than what we just have right now. Like, yeah, we only have four right now, uh, which is, you know, just the basics. Um, you know, the pistol, um, shotgun, assault rifle, and the SMG. Um, we're, we're still pretty far from launch, by the way. <laughs> like, I, I think, like, people assumed, you know, the demo is like a beta, and then we're going to be launching like two months later. But we're probably not going to be launching until at least a year later. It's hard to say how many guns we'll have. Uh, like, obviously, you know, more is better. We'd love to have, you know, a ton of guns. Um, I, I would say we're probably going to have at least 10 guns. You know, we're definitely going to have, you know, some some bigger guns like rocket launchers or grenade launchers, you know, some kind of 50 cal. Yeah, like some big guns like that. So uh, that's what people can look forward to. Uh, tens, tens a pretty good number, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, like, we'll try to go for more, but, you know, we'll see. It's a long way to go so. how big would you say that your game is going to be hmm. so by big do you mean like hours i guess like yeah. <laughs> oh. i guess hours would be a good hours. you know okay um yeah so i guess the main the levels and the levels levels okay um yeah it, it's hard oh yeah I, I guess we're pretty bad at estimating like we, we thought our demo was only going to be like 10 minutes long but when we looked on the um average steam playtime, it's like an hour <laughs> so I, I guess um you gotta take our estimates with with a grain of salt i guess because we we speed run our game pretty fast but yeah i think our campaign will the campaign will only be about two hours long uh we want to keep it you know as focused um as it can be like we don't want to you know copy and paste and like force the player to grind but you know on top of that we want to add a whole bunch of extra modes just like the horde mode in the demo uh you know we, we'd love to just pack it full of as much of that you know fun extra stuff uh something like you know the rainbow six terrorist hunt or something like that uh where you can just you know play over and over again and just like kill lots of bad guys and also like unlock cool stuff i guess it's hard to say how many hours it's going to be it really just depends like you're, you're going to get at least you know a two-hour campaign and just like how how much you want to have fun like just killing lots of bad guys in the extra modes all right all right <laughs> will this game have dlc expansion and will it be free oh hmm. <laughs> yeah that's that's also a bit hard to say at this point because you know we're, we're still at least a year until you know we actually release the game so i mean at the moment we're totally focused on you know just finishing the game making it as good as possible before we get into you know dlcs and expansions but we definitely do want to do that like once we get the game finished like uh we don't want to you know just leave it and just you know let it die off like <laughs> we definitely want to give people you know reasons to come back and play more and you know we, we love giving away free stuff like we've given away three demos already so there probably will be some free stuff in the future yeah just hard to say at this point exactly what it'll be but It'll be there, probably. Any special pre-orders, like Deluxe Edition or anything? Oh, special pre-orders. Oh, <laughs> um, hmm. Like, buy this, you get a nice-looking mouse pad. Or... <laughs> yeah, like, um, I mean, that's a possibility, but I guess probably not. Like, you know, just the thought of us, you know, going to a factory and just, like, packaging, like, thousands of mouse pads <laughs> and then mailing them out. Um... I mean, we, we, you know, I guess we could have, you know, some skins or something um, fun like that. Uh, we'll see. Like a poster or oh, a poster. helmet or something. <laughs> you know, it comes with, with a Spaz 12 shotgun or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, yeah, like when it comes to physical goods, like probably not because, you know, there's only four of us and like, 
if we were, were to package out, you know, like thousands of, you know, t-shirts or posters or hats or whatever, you know, <laughs> that's going to take up a lot of time. And, you know, around the launch time, we'd want to be working on the game as much as we can, <laughs> you know, not like boxing up t-shirts or something and mailing them out. There probably won't be anything like, you know, physical things, but you know, skins or maybe a bonus level or something, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, we're, yeah, we're totally okay with that. But yeah, we'll see when it comes to that. Like right now we're totally focused on, you know, making sure this game is as good as it can be. Yeah, for everyone on launch. And um, yeah, regarding like Xbox controller, uh, we, yeah, we kind of left it in like a hacky, you know, kind of half-assed Xbox support. Xbox controller support in the demo. Um, and yeah, like it doesn't work super great, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't think anyone would use it. We didn't think um, many PC gamers used uh, controllers. We thought, you know, that's kind of uh, like a. You'd be <laughs> surprised. Yeah, we were super surprised. Like it seems. Yeah. I mean, myself, like whenever there's like a. What is it? Like the Cuphead game? Like I usually like to hook up the controller and use that or fly really? an airplane or something. Really? <laughs> but for, for an FPS, were, were you playing it with no, a keyboard not, and mouse? Or? No, FPS, keyboard all the way. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So that seems like a, a strange thing. That like, seems like a console peasant thing. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I, I own quite a few consoles. Um, but um, yeah, we, we didn't think too much about it. You know, we we're like, okay, you know, nobody's going to do that. But uh, we were surprised. Like a lot of people were like, okay, you have kind of Xbox controller support, but it sucks. And we're like, oh, like, sorry. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be looking into improving that like as much as we can. I mean, yeah, we don't have a lot of experience with, you know, Xbox controller stuff. So I can't promise that, you know, you'll 100% be able to play the full game with it. But, you know, as much as we can, like we'll make it. We'll definitely make it better than it was uh yeah compared to the last demo okay <laughs> yeah cool cool so this one already talks about uh something that you already said before but i'm just gonna say it anyway uh, right. any plans on a different game mode survival against waves of enemies for example oh in the full game or customizable encounters Oh yeah, so like, yeah, we've been brainstorming and like prototyping a lot of this stuff. Uh, it's not ready to show off yet. Um, well, I guess there's that um, that T mod thing I sent you. I don't know if you had a chance to check it out. Did you? I just plugged in the internet to my computer today, so it'll probably oh, be no. in the video most likely. <laughs> okay, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know <laughs> if you'll understand anything I'm talking about. But yeah, like, I guess we're working on a lot of, you know, extra, like, fun little stuff. You know, the campaign is going to be, you know, a typical, like, story campaign. It can get annoying to, you know, just keep replaying a story campaign and, you know, go through the story stuff, all the scripted stuff. The the different game modes, we'd be focused on, like, as much, like, replay replayability as possible. So yeah, something like, you know, for example, the horde mode, like, you know, you defend against 30 waves of enemies. Yeah, we definitely want to add some customization to that so people can set you know what kind of enemies they'll have yeah we definitely want to expand with like other game modes um we haven't you know got much uh working yet like it's only been two months uh, since the last demo uh but yeah we'd want to do something like maybe terrorist hunt you know um like hostage rescue or like bomb defusal that kind of that kind of thing like so basically you know just like a five minute mission and it's, it's probably going to be pretty hard and it might be randomized in some way and have some customizability yeah and on top of that like a fun little mode that uh, we made we call it T mod. Uh, it's inspired by G mod, um, <laughs> but yeah, like don't sue us, Gary, please. I just sent a, a demo to Durag, but <laughs> unfortunately his internet's dead. Yeah, basically it's a sandbox. You can fly around, you can spawn random stuff like a bajillion, you know, enemies of different factions and get them to fight each other. Um, you can call in artillery strikes. <laughs> it's just kind of you know stupid fun. Yeah, that kind of stuff. It just adds a lot to the game. You know, it gives you a reason to come back and you know play it over and over again. Are you gonna have like some sort of like market? so that you know people can like upload their stuff and then people can you know take it down and play it <laughs> people's levels because that would be kind of cool yeah like that's something i can't say with a hundred percent certainty but we've been looking into that like a lot of our tools and stuff um they could work with some some amount of level like customizability yeah I, I can't promise anything um at this point but like we're definitely gonna you know you know do a lot of research and look into it like you know it, it would be really cool if we had something like you know forge mode in in halo or like snap maps in doom yeah and then you can share them with your friends and stuff but yeah we're not 100 percent sure if we can do that yet yeah customizing horde mode um that's almost certainly doable like customizing difficulty 
yeah we can probably do that too like where you can you know just make a ridiculous like dark souls mode or something um and then share that with your friends but yeah it's definitely something we want to look into and like we'll probably have something to show for that like at the end of this year i think the horde mode would be a lot better if it had some sort of co-op but i don't, I don't know how oh yeah <laughs> yeah experiencing it with your friends would be great yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i understand maybe you could add that sometime in the future or? yeah like perhaps like very far off in the future like like right now if we if we added you know co-op or multiplayer you know our, our plate's already full like making the single player game um with the extra modes and you know we want to make that you know as good as possible like we definitely don't want to you know half-ass anything so yeah at the moment we can't do that but perhaps far off in the future like maybe when the game's done like we'll just be like okay you know what we'll just look into <laughs> all the stuff we couldn't do before let's do it now yeah that's a possibility pretty neat <laughs> yeah yeah, thanks. All right, so I've seen pretty much a majority of the demo aside from the horde mode. I haven't really stuck my fingers into that one just yet, but uh, any plans for more amb enemy variety in the single player um yeah of course so in the demo like you basically just have you know soldiers with with guns yeah and then the weird looking uh, jiggly boys or <laughs> yeah oh you, did, you played the uh, horde mode right <laughs> There's the, um, yeah, the red guys who, like, shake around and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they talk about it. <laughs> yeah, like, that That was a, a failed, like, physics experiment uh, that we just threw in there just for the lols. Yeah, but we definitely, you know, want to add more enemy types. Like, I mean, e even with, you know, just the soldiers, you know, looking at games like, say, like Payday, where, you know, they, they, all the enemies are just men with guns, but, you know, they find so many ways to keep it interesting, like the cloaker, for example. So, I mean, obviously we're not, you know, just going to copy and paste from another game, but, um, yeah, just the soldiers, we want to expand on them, like, a lot. And then on top of that, like, we do want some, you know, some kind of supernatural or, um, yeah, paranormal <laughs> kind of thing. We're still working on that, like, we haven't, we're not ready to talk too much about that, but there's going to be some, some scary monsters, and, and some of them you can't just defeat them with bullets. So that's going to be fun. Uh oh, oh, <laughs> you sound worried. Of course. I like guns. All right. <laughs> well, maybe we'll have a Ghostbuster gun or something. We'll see. Ooh. <laughs> How many ideas? on implementing some more functional enemy mechanics. They can utilize flares, flashlights. What about night vision, smoke, stun grenades, etc.? Yeah, definitely like, you know, we want to add, I guess, more enemy abilities that, you know, keep the player on their toes. Yeah, I'm not sure if you noticed, but at the end of the um, the story level, there were some guys with uh, night vision goggles. Yeah, I saw them. Oh yeah, yeah. so yeah, those guys, you can't, you can't hide from them um, in the dark. They can still see you. Uh, so you have to use your cloak or just uh, stay away from them. Uh, or you can shoot off their helmets and then they lose their night vision um i didn't actually think of that <laughs> you're too busy killing them right <laughs> well i was too busy you know using slow motion and not the other thing oh yeah so i guess with, with all the abilities that the enemies have and will have there will definitely be counters to them we don't have that any of that stuff ready yet but uh, for example, you know, the guy with the night vision, like, you know, yeah, we will think of some way to, you know, to, to hide from those guys so that you're not always, you know, just totally screwed against the uh, night vision guys. Um, we obviously want to expand on, you know, the enemy soldiers. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to say, like, exactly what we'll do, but uh, we definitely want more variety than just, you know, one guy who can shoot at you really accurately and one guy who can't. I guess, yeah, something kind of like Payday where there's all these different enemy types and you got to take different approaches to kill them. I mean, you do kill them with bullets and stuff but it's like um you know you also have to prioritize them and some guys are more dangerous than others so something like that we'll be working on okay pretty cool pretty cool <laughs> you guys are using bot assets correct um yeah so we use some like were you able to spot any or oh yeah i mean you just kinda... it's not a big deal it's just I can tell you guys are actually making this into a game, aside from, you know, other games that I've seen. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the thing with, with assets is, like, you know, it's I think it's it's silly and un, unfair that, you know, it gets a bad rep. Because if you talk to, you know, any developer, like, um, the thing is, you know, even, even really big games where they have, you know, like a $200 million budget, like Call of Duty, you know, they, they still, still use assets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So... 
I mean, it doesn't make sense for us to, you know, say like if we drew every brick wall, like you know, by hand, and you know, every blade of grass, you know, we we drew, we drew, drew that by hand, and you know, like um, you know, every sound, you know, we went to, you know, we took, a, you know, a fuzzy mic and you know recorded that sound, like you know, of course, you know, if you don't want to spend, you know, fifty years making a game, you know, you do have to buy some assets. Yeah, I mean, there's no there's no uh, problem with yeah. that. It's just that it gets a bad <laughs> yeah, rap right. because there are, you know, assholes out there that are just like they'll just grab a bunch of stuff on the store and then put it into uh, a build and call it a game and it's just like you didn't do anything with that you know yeah yeah <laughs> I, I mean it, it's pretty easy to spot those though right yeah i mean i played your game i was i was first of all i was able to play your game okay that's a good thing i guess <laughs> and it actually feels good like i have fun all right yeah 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 i mean you know at the end of the day like the the assets people make now they're really good yeah but at the end of the day like the assets can never make the game for you. Like, yep. we, we still have to make the game, but the assets can speed things up, like, you know, a brick wall or, a, you know, grass or, you know, gun sounds and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it, it helps. Um, yeah, we wouldn't have got this far if we had to do everything by hand. And that's pretty much all I got. All right. That's awesome. Is there anything that you want to say to promote your game right here at the end here? Oh, geez. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of on the spot. Um, yeah, I guess uh, if you're interested, like, um, and you're not, like, part of our community, uh, just go to TreyFang2.com. Uh, you can find links to our Discord, uh, YouTube, Twitter, uh, IndieDB. Or, you know, you can send an email directly to me um, on the website. Uh, yeah, it's wilson at treypeng2.com. So, yeah, we're, we're always listening to feedback from our players. Like, we always give out, you know, free stuff. Like, this is our third free demo. We'll probably do another one before we um, release the game. So, if you're, you know, on the fence about the game, you know, just try out some of our demos and see. Yeah, and yeah, thanks so much for yeah, having me on the the channel and like yeah looking forward to what you think of our next demo or our full release glad to have you all right awesome And that was the Trey Payne 2 interview. If you like these type of interviews, be sure to comment, like, and share so that it actually, you know, boosts up the ratings here. If you want to go play their demo, it'll be linked down in the description for you to go check out. If you're someone that wants to support the channel, be sure to check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. With that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.